Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get some mods, specifically fabric mods, in Minecraft 1.17. Now, before we even get into this video in the first 20 seconds here, I want to say that this is for fabric. It is not a forge tutorial. Most mods are not on the fabric mod loader. However, some pretty cool ones are, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video on it. However, if you do want to see how to install forge mods like World Edit, Tinker's Construct, Not Enough Items, Biomes of Plenty, these are all mods that you need forge for and not fabric, please subscribe to the channel. Forge, at the time I'm recording this, isn't out for Minecraft 1.17 yet, so you will need to go ahead and subscribe. That way when it does come out, you'll get our video, all of that stuff, and you'll know how to get those mods like Bombs of Plenty, Tinker's Construct, Not Enough Items, World Edit, all those popular mods that are on Forge. Now there are some pretty awesome and popular mods on Fabric as well, but a lot of people will come here, I know, looking for those mods. That's not how you get them. You need Forge. However, if you do need Fabric for mods like Roughly Enough Items, Inventory HUD, Voxel Map, and many, many others out there, then this will show you how to get it. Nevertheless, though, we do have a more sponsor first, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get a modded Apex Minecraft server running Fabric or Forge up in Minecraft 1.17. Yes, you can run a Fabric, Forge, or Mod Pack server on Apex very quickly and very easily. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we also our own server. Play breakdowncraft.com on them. They are the best way to host a Minecraft server. So check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting these Fabric mods. Not only in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Fabric itself downloaded. I'm also going to show you how to get the Fabric API, which is required for a lot of Fabric mods. And then I'm also going to show you how to get roughly enough items and Inventory HUD Plus here, which is basically like a cool inventory style mod, right? So we're going to be showing you how to do all that in this video. First and most though, we need to download Fabric. So to do that, we're going to go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. We may add an article to our website very, very soon for this though. So I'm going to say that in advance that if it does take you to our website, you will scroll down and click on the orange or yellow download link. However, once you're on Fabric's website here, we want to download the installer universal slash dot jar, right? So we want to download installer universal slash dot jar. Go ahead and click on that. And then the bottom left of Google Chrome, it's going to immediately start downloading the Fabric jar. So as you can see down here, in the bottom left, this file could be harmed to computer. Do you want to keep it anyway? Yes, we do. It's 100% safe to keep the file. As long as it has fabric in the title, which ours does, it's 100% safe to keep it. As far as Mozilla Firefox goes, you'll get a similar warning on your screen, but you'll need to save it. And again, it's 100% safe to save fabric. Moving on from there, we're looking at the fabric API. Again, this is linked in the description down below. And once you get here, you want to scroll down and click on the yellow download fabric API button. What this is, is basically an API that works with the fabric mod loader. So it's kind of something you need, right? You need this for probably... 60 to 80 percent of fabric mods need the fabric api once you're here though you want to come over here to the right hand side scroll down until you see the minecraft 1.17 section and then under that you do have the 1.17 fabric api click on the orange download button to the right of that that's then going to go ahead and take us off where after a few seconds it will download automatically the fabric api in the bottom left right like so and again, it's going to give us that warning about the file. It's 100% safe to keep it. It's been downloaded by over 11 million people. So we can go ahead and click keep in the bottom left and it will save the file. Now at this point, you can technically install Fabric. Those are the only two things that you need. But we're also going to go ahead and download some mods here. And I'll show you how to do that. So in the description down below, we have two mods. We have Roughly Enough Items and HUD Inventory Plus. You can find the links down below. When you click those links, they're going to take you one Roughly Enough Items to here. Where you scroll down, click on the orange or yellow download Roughly Enough Items button. And then again, on the right hand side, we want to scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.17. Now we want to make sure that that it's fabric 1.17 as opposed to like a forge for example we want to say it says fabric here 1.17 as you can see that does so we go ahead and click on the orange button there again it will take us off and after a few seconds the download will begin right i'm going to repeat this one more time for inventory hub plus and then we're going to be all done but we do need to keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen on firefox now let's go ahead and go to inventory hub plus now this is what i wanted to feature because it has both forge and fabric versions it's going to work on either one, but you need to make sure you get the correct file for Forge or Fabric, depending on which one you're using. So if you come over here to the right hand side and we scroll down, we'll see Minecraft 1.17. Now under that, we see Fabric 1.17. Now, if you had Forge, you would go with the Fabric if you're wanting to run Fabric mods. 1.16, as you can see here, has both Forge and Fabric. In this case, you would go with Fabric. So you want to go with Fabric 1.17 here and click the orange download button. That's why I wanted to specifically download that one. This process here is the same. You keep, you save the file. It's the exact same as before. So we go ahead and keep it in the bottom left, save it in the center of your screen, and now we can minimize our browser. And here we have on our desktop a bunch of files. We have the Fabric installer. We have the Fabric API. We have roughly enough items. And we have Inventory HUD+. Plus. Now, 
If these aren't your desktop, most likely they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads, click on downloads file folder here, and then drag these from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, we need to do a little bit of kind of like order of progression here. So first off, we're going to be starting with the fabric installer file. So make sure it says fabric installer on it. Now, if you don't see .jar, that's okay. If you don't see the Java logo, that's okay. But make sure it does say fabric installer on it. Then we want to put fabric API and any other mods that we want kind of over to the side for now. We're going to install those, but just not right away. We need to start with the fabric installer. So if these files look different, if you don't have the .jar, that's okay. If you don't have this logo, that's okay. First, let's try to open this. So right click on fabric and click on open with, then click on Java and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and I don't have the links open, one quick jump cut. And when you're in the description down below, you need to go to the download Java link. It's in the description and this will show you how to download Java and allow you to open up the fabric installer as well as other different Minecraft mods and servers and things like that. This is all kind of a catch all for all of that, which is what's great. And you can come here and download this here. Now, if you still have issues, if for example, you still don't have the Java logo here, you're still having issues, or you still, if you right click and open with, it's still not working. What you need to do is run the jar fix, which is also linked in the description down below. And it's going to show you how to do that here. It's a little three step process and you can download the jar fix here and basically fix the Java files on your computer and link them back to Java. So that's going to fix those icons if they are broken. Now let's go ahead and right click finally on the fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. It's now going to open up the fabric installer where we want to make sure we have 1.17 selected. And then we want to make sure create profile is also selected and then click install. It's then going to take a second and then it's going to install. As you can see, fabric loader for 1.17 has been successfully installed. We can go ahead and click OK and it will close out of the fabric installer there. Or not the fabric installer, that OK. Now we can close out of the fabric installer. Safe. You can delete fabric from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, we need to make sure that we're playing the fabric profile. So for me, this is automatically loaded here. As you can see, I've got fabric 1.17. Awesome. I could click play if I wanted to. But if you don't have this selected, here's what you need to do. Go to the installations up here at the top and then make sure modded is checked over here on the top right. For example, I clicked modded and now fabric has disappeared, right? Fabric is no longer here in this page. Click modded, it reappears. But if you click modded and you still don't have a fabric loader 1.17, here's what you do. Click on the plus new installation and then go ahead and type in play.breakdowncraft com here. I mean, you don't have to name it that, but that's just the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. It's our own Minecraft server. We have 1.17 green protected survival, and it is absolutely amazing. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for the version drop down box here, we're going to click on that. And then in here, we're going to find release fabric loader. And then at the end, 1.17. So as you can see, release fabric loader. And then at the very end, it says 1.17. Go ahead and click on that. I'm also going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but we're making a video. And I want you to be able to see once we get in game. And finally, you can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now at this point, we can go ahead and click on the play.breakdowncraft.com profile or the fabric loader, whichever one. And then we want to go ahead and click the green play button. It's going to give us this warning that's basically saying, hey, you're about to play modern Minecraft. Do you know that? Yes, we do. We understand the risk. We know what we're doing. You're watching this video so you can get the help. So you know what you're doing. Go ahead and click play. And now fabric is going to open up. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, to install Fabric Mods, we have to close Fabric down again. So I'm going to do this quick jump cut to the Minecraft main menu, and then I'll show you how to install mods. And then from there, we'll restart Fabric, and I won't do another jump cut. All right, so here we are in the Minecraft main menu, and as you can see in the bottom left, it says Minecraft 1.17 Fabric. That means we're running Fabric. Now, one thing I will say is there's no indication of that other than the bottom left. We can go ahead then and quit game, and let's install these mods. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon, again, it's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left, and then type in Run. You'll have this Run app here. Go ahead and open up that run app. And in this run app, you want to type percent sign, app data, percent sign. So percent sign, app data, percent sign, right like so, and hit enter. So percent sign, app data, percent sign, percent app data, percent, and hit enter. And then it's going to open up the roaming folder here. And then here you should have a dot Minecraft folder. Then in your dot Minecraft folder, when you open it up, it should have a mods folder. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, let's say mine wasn't here, what I would do is go ahead and right click in here, create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then we have this new mods folder. Now let's go ahead and double click on this mods folder. And then we need to install the fabric API, roughly enough items in inventory HUD or any other mods you want. This is how you're going to install your mods. Just drag and drop them into your mods folder found in the dot Minecraft folder. So you go into dot Minecraft, go into mods and then drag and drop your mods into here. 
It's that simple to install Fabric Mods. Then we need to open up the Minecraft Launcher again, and this time in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to make sure that we have our correct profile selected. In my case, play.breakdowncraft.com. In your case, it might be Fabric 1.17. Then click that green play button, and now Minecraft is going to open up. I will apologize for any jump cuts or any, like, you know, lag or anything like that. That's not intentional, but uh, my computer isn't the best these days, and while we do have one on the way, it's hard to order new computer parts right now, being 2021, so we are just kind of sitting here waiting for them. And we have to keep recording. We want to keep making for you videos for you all, and sometimes the lag will happen. So I do apologize for that, but I don't want to do any jump cuts in this section because I want you to show it works. I want to show you that everything is working above board and there's nothing shady going on or anything like that. We don't do that here. Um, that has never been our MO and it never will be. So anyway, we're just kind of waiting, basically waiting for Mojang and Minecraft to work together and get this thing open. Um, now, one thing I will say is that we have a, an error here. And this is actually a good thing. I'm glad I did this. I missed out on a Roughly Enough Items API. So it needs both of these to be able to work. And if we click on them, it's going to go ahead and take us to our web browser, which I will go ahead and grab here. These are new. In the past, there have been absolutely no issues with fabric or with roughly enough items. However, let's go ahead and get these installed. So as you can see here, we have this here. We'll come over here to the right hand side. And again, we'll download for fabric 1.17 and then we'll repeat the process on the architecture API. For you, these will be in the description down below if you do want to get roughly enough items, but I didn't have them added because again, this is kind of brand new. So as you can see here, we have the cloth config downloading and then we have the architecture API. Both of these required for the roughly enough items mod. So now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Again, we want to go ahead and click exit. It's going to close out of Minecraft. We have our mods folder back open, but to get back to that, what we would do is go in to the little windows icon, click on or type in run, then go to the run app and then type in percent app data percent, exactly like that. Hit OK. And then we're just going to take us here where we're going to the dot Minecraft folder and then into the mods folder. Now we want to install the cloth config and the architecture API. And then we can finally again reopen up Minecraft again having fabric installed, right? We do have fabric there. Click on play and now Minecraft will open up. Sorry about that. Was not expecting that, but it did happen. And again, those are linked in the description down below. And I do apologize if we didn't mention those in the beginning of this tutorial. 99% of the time I test stuff, but for some reason I didn't this time. I didn't test the fabric mods before we saw them. So my bad. I do apologize, but uh, hopefully you all can forgive me. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and wait for this to open up. Again, I would love to do a jump cut, but the reason you just saw is why we don't. We had that little error and we had to fix it live. And I like that sometimes. I like when we have those little issues because it's going to help you out if you do have those issues that it's okay to kind of follow the steps and how to fix those. So Anyway, now we are again just waiting for Mojang and Fabric to work it out and to get this open up and we're going to be good to go. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Again, we can see Fabric in the bottom left. There isn't a mods page for Fabric and it is unfortunate, but luckily we can jump into single player and I am going to create a new world called Fabric Mods and I'm going to make it creative just because that's easier for me to show you all what is going on. Now in here, we should have two things. We should have an inventory HUD and we should have the Roughly Enough Items mod, right? Two simple stuff, Roughly Enough Items, very easy to see, and so is the Inventory HUD, so I do like those options. I did just do a jump cut there because things can get unbearably laggy whenever we do uh, kind of load this up, but if we go ahead and hit E here, we're gonna be able to see in our inventory, we do have Roughly Enough Items. Now, one thing I will say is uh, I'm not seeing, unfortunately, the uh, Inventory HUD Plus mod readily available, which makes me think we can do some configuring. I just had to, uh, or I have forgotten how you can configure this on Fabric. So let me do a quick jump cut. I will see how to configure that and I'll meet you here in one second. So after a quick reference of the mod page, I saw that the default keybind for opening up the configuration is O. And as you can see here, we do have all of this. Now, one thing I will say is I'm seeing that this is on, but uh, I'm not seeing it anywhere. So that is kind of a problem. So maybe we do have other issues going on. And if that is the case, I'm guessing these are 117 bugs that will sort themselves. Oh, there we go. So we do have armor and now in the bottom left, maybe it's where there is nothing in our inventory. So let's go ahead and go into creative real fast and maybe we can fix that problem. So we can go ahead and add in some stuff into our inventory, get a bunch of cool stuff like copper and all these new ores and all of that awesome stuff added right on in. So boom, and then we're gonna put some of this right into our inventory, right like so. And then we're also going to get some potions because we should have some potion effects. So let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, what's, what's a cool one? Potion of Leaping here. All right, so as you can see, we do have our inventory over here. And what's cool is I believe if we move these around, they will move around in the bottom right. We do have our inventory. We can move that to where it's a little, uh, a little easier to see, move that there. And then we'll move our armor right there just because, uh, yeah, I want you all to be able to see them. It's annoying, but you can see them. Now let's go ahead and throw down the sleeping potion. And in the top left, we do have our potions. Awesome stuff. That is how you can install fabric mods in Minecraft 1.17. If you do enjoy these Minecraft 1.17 mods or other 
Fabric Mods, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft survival server in the multiverse. Anyway, my name is Nick, and this has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.